What's up guys? Uh, welcome to another Lazy Goldmaker gold making video. Uh, if you watched my recent video on uh, choosing specific stat combinations for Crafter Smart Gear uh, and started implementing that, you might have noticed that TSM doesn't always recognize exactly what item you're selling. You can often end up in situations where it's posting it at your normal price even if there's already an item of the same stat combination. Um, and that's what something in my YouTube channel, <laughs> YouTube comments realized. I thought I'd take you through why this happens and what you can do about it. Now, I'm sure you all wanted me to dive straight into the solution, but uh, I want to take you through a little bit of why this happens so that you can understand when this is going to happen and you can take action without having to wait for one of my videos the next time something like this comes up. Because, spoiler alert, it's going to come up again. Now the reason this happens is because of the bonus ID system that Blizzard uses. Um, while items in all of the background databases and add-ons, they're generally referred to by their item ID. This is the same number as you can find in the WoW head uh, URL of an item that you can use in your TSM strings uh, by including it in the parenthesis to refer to the market value of a specific item. Now for items that have random variants like crafted gear, in addition to the base item ID, there's a bonus ID that tells the game what item level it has, what stats it has, what extra effects it has. And the bonus ID system is a mess. It's not well documented at all. Literally no one, that's not Blizzard, knows how it works. Uh, but TSM relies on these bonus IDs when they're determining whether an item is the same as another item for undercutting purposes. And in this patch, they added progenitor enhancements, you have missives, you have crafter's marks. And all of these things interact to create just a ton of different items that are essentially the same item. TSM can't differentiate from them, which means that TSM can't effectively undercut the exact same item. Um, so obviously this is a bit of a problem, but there are some solutions which we'll go into now. Now we have two choices. None of them are perfect. But both of them can work. Um, the first one, well, if you're like me, you'll have all of your specific items, like the specific 262 haste mastery item that I'm currently hovering over, in your groups. Uh, now the thing you can do is to just remove all of them from the group. And then instead, you add them back, but you just choose to add them by item level instead. Uh, now obviously they didn't show up here for whatever reason, ungrouped items, now they showed up. So now I can pick all of the Shadow Steel because this is a blacksmithing group. Show Shadow Steel. And I'd add them back. So now we would add them by item level. So it would count all 262 item level Greaves as exactly the same item. Now obviously this isn't perfect because if you've been using missives to craft a specific variant, that one might be more expensive than the rest ones uh, at that item level and you might be losing out some gold. Um, you would also probably have to increase the post quantity in your in your auctioning operation, so you would want to post more than one, potentially as many as five, um, depending on your preference and what you're crafting. Uh, but there's no guarantee that it's going to post five different stat variants. Um, so this works, but it's not what I prefer. Now, if you're not aware, I have a Patreon page where you can support the channel, and you also get some pretty cool rewards. This includes seven days of early access to all of the guide type videos like this one right here. So you can beat your competition to the punch. Uh, so if you're interested in that, there's a link in the video description. Head on over, I'd really appreciate it. Let's continue. So I would rather just go to the auctioning operation. This one right here for blacksmithing gear. And then I would change the normal price. So uh, the logic here is that if you can get your normal price to where it posts for say a couple of thousand more, than the rest of the market, anywhere from three to, to even 10,000 gold can be adequate here, um, then you have a great chance of selling. This is particularly if you're targeting the most popular stat combinations, because the auction house is likely to run out of those because that's the ones that people are gonna buy. Uh, so unless everyone else is using missives, then you have a good chance of, of the auction house running out and someone willing to pay 3,000. Or maybe they don't see the other ones, or maybe you have the more desirable progenitor enhancement. Um, so I would start a little bit high, maybe as high as three times their crafting cost, and then I would slowly bring this one down until you get to a level where you start seeing consistent sales. Obviously there's no way of telling what the optimal choice is going to be, so you have to experiment. Just start high and then work your way down, because then you see, okay, at this level I started getting a lot more sales. 
You can also potentially change this separately for different item slots. If you see that some slots are have very different prices from the others, it might be um, might be smart to do that. Or you can have the same one for all of them, depending on your realm um, and depending on how many different variants you're working with. Um, so that's what I'd suggest doing, and you do it in the in the posting section to get there. You can just go to your group. So if you scroll down to my Crafted Marker, the first one's group operations, click here. And then you scroll down to the normal price, and this is the main one you want to change, because this is only going to matter for the variants that TSM can't um, recognize the exact same item, and it's going to post at your normal price, which is what it defaults to in that uh, situation. So experiment with this. You should be able to get to a good place eventually and be getting sales. I've been getting some good sales on Sylvanas. I only craft missive gear. You can see I'm still getting a good number of sales up in the 24k range um 30k even and at this point essentia is down below 6000 on this realm so the profit margin on some of these items is absolutely incredible so that's pretty much it hopefully you learned something if you want to learn the basics of this market then i suggest checking out well one of these two videos that i've already done on specifically how to get into the crafter smart gear market in the first place and how to target the most desirable stat combinations for each armor type to increase your profit margin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.